quick question. Do you know what day it is today? It's Friday. Fridays make Gracie happy. What about you guys? guys it is Friday it is one of my favorite days because that means that just one more work day and then the weekend begins I'm so excited especially for this weekend because it is my husband's birthday he's turning 27 and we're really excited um, I planned out a lot of stuff you know a lot of fun stuff for us tomorrow which you know tomorrow is his actual birthday but we're we basically been celebrating this whole week um, and then, um, so now it's the weekend and it's his birthday weekend and we're both so excited. So, um, since it's Friday and I'm in a great mood, I already drank my pre-workout. I'm already like, and it's already like 630 in the morning or something. Um, so I decided to run a mile on my treadmill before I go to work today you know, cause I'm in a good mood. And when I'm in a good mood and I have, you know, I'm, I have like great energy for my pre-workout, why not run a mile? Why not? It's Friday, right? Anyway, so yes, I'm already talking a lot cause I've, you know, got so much energy in my body. So yes, I'm gonna be running the mile on my treadmill, on my Nord Trek. So excited to use this thing. And, um, ooh, I should probably, <laughs> I need to move this thing out of the way because every single time that I am on the treadmill, I'm like, what if I'm like running and like I slip off and then I end up hitting myself into this thing? That would not be a good idea. That doesn't look so comfortable to like, boom, that would completely suck. So I think that's what I have to do. And that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and let's just get this a little bit tighter so you can see my body. Oh yeah. So anyway, so this is my workout outfit. I got my obese to beast shirt. And then I've got some uh, cute shorts from, these are from Target, I don't know if you guys remember from that video. Um, these are the shorts that I was going for and I bought two pairs of them. And then I've got my Nike shoes, my super comfortable, these are my, these are my all time favorite shoes. I think they're Nike's, uh, five, uh, they're Nike Freeze 5.0's and they're super comfortable. So let's get this workout started, shall we? Sweating just a little bit. I'm having trouble with this camera focusing. I don't know why you change the settings or something. But yeah, I just ran my mile. Um, in case you are wondering, it takes me um, like 11 minutes to run the mile, and I run at five miles per hour. And then in the middle of it, I bump it to six miles per hour. And then on like the mass, like <laughs> the mass, on the last minute or two, I bump it to uh, seven miles per hour. And yeah, so now I'm all like, you know, I'm all sexified. No, I'm not. I need to go shower. I need to go shower and then I need to um, have breakfast because I'm not gonna, I don't have any egg whites to take to work or anything like that. So I'm just gonna have breakfast here at home. And that's it, yay. And here's my breakfast. All I'm having is just some eggies and toast and some sriracha on there. And in the eggies, I put Italian seasoning. This is so good. Soup's bomb. Look at that. Yum. Hold on. It's hubby. And I did a mile, and now I'm vlogging. That was hubby. He was making sure that I was awake. I wanted to talk about how it's been for me uh, this this whole week so far and so in case you didn't already know I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it today's Friday so I posted that video about my weight loss story and about bikini competition just last weekend I believe it was Saturday or Sunday 
And on Monday when I did my workout, you know, I was feeling okay. I was kind of like tired to do my workout, but I still did it. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like I was really, really struggling. I had lost my motivation and I was getting really, really frustrated with myself just because like I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to feel weak in front of everyone. I know that I posted on Instagram saying that I was having like a hard time and that I was struggling. Um, with like my nutrition and everything and I was really really getting frustrated this week with myself because I had just posted that video um, You know and that's supposed to be like huge motivation for me You know it's it is definitely like the next stage in my journey and I don't know why but this week I felt like I was really struggling and I was getting so annoyed with myself and I was like come on grace get it together You got this you know you do um, but then like yesterday I talked with Johnny Strauss, my trainer, and he made me realize that it's not going to be easy. You know, you can't be 100% all the time. And then, um, and I also talked with, uh, Erica and on Instagram, she's Erica fit love. And she reminded me that it's okay to, you know, it's okay to be human, which means it's okay if you mess up. And so I haven't been able to take my measurements because right now, like even today, like I still feel very, very bloated. Um, yesterday, I did all right. Um, you know, I did my workout and I ate everything I was supposed to eat and drank all my water. Um, but just today, like I'm still feeling like a little bit bloated, and I don't feel like it's a like I don't feel like it's a good time to take measurements. I feel that once I'm back to where I was, um, you know, like back to where I was feeling, um, you know, like in those videos, I feel like that's the time when I should take measurements. I don't know, what do you guys think? Make sure you leave the comment down below. Let me know when you guys think I should take my measurements. Like, I feel like I should right now, but then again, I feel bloated and, you know, I guess, I mean, I, I guess I could, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Just let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's how my week has been. And I hate feeling like I'm like a weak person because, you know, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people look up to me and I just want to be like a great example to everyone but then like whenever I open up on Instagram um, a lot of people really appreciate it and they tell me how those moments where they see where I'm struggling they say that it really helps them or it really helps you guys and it makes me feel a lot better because it makes me feel okay it makes me feel like I'm doing okay like I'm not disappointing you guys and that's what I definitely don't want like I definitely don't want to disappoint everyone um, I know that I'm never going to quit and I know that I'm going to keep going no matter what. It's just sometimes I do have those very like bad days, but I know that I'll get out of it. I know I will because I always do. I've been doing this for about 15 months now and I know that just, you know, it takes a lot of like patience. You have to be consistent with everything and you just have to have a positive attitude throughout this whole entire journey. So that's what's up you know now i gotta finish up the rest of my breakfast because it's already getting pretty late love you guys talk to you guys soon my song's on i'm gonna turn it don't don't turn it don't turn it I like i'm gonna change song. it i like this song you guys dare me to change it don't you want to see her reaction no huh don't turn it off honey okay, here we go don't don't here, change it here we go don't are you crazy i'm gonna do it don't do it don't do it did it are you kidding me where was did it here no, that's not it. Change it. I like this song. I love this song. This is my fight. I've probably heard this 80 times. 80 times? You're such a liar. Thanks to you. He's lying. Probably like 83 times. No. It's probably 83 times. <laughs> Hasn't. No, you're exaggerating. He's exaggerating. You have it on repeat all day. Because I use it for motivation. Motivacion, motivacion para Gracie. Gracie needs motivation sometimes, and this song motivates me. What motivates you guys? What motivates you? What made it? What, what motivates you, honey? You do. You're just being nice. No, you you're just showing my friends how nice no, you are. No, I see you in the other room on the treadmill. I think to myself, you know what? I'll go work out too. And that's why he's my husband. Happy birthday, hubby. Well, tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow. Thanks. You're welcome. I love you. Love you. Mwah.
kiss you right now, but you're driving and I don't want to distract you. Driving 180 miles an hour. Ah! Psych, you can see like the speed, like <laughs> you can see like on the hey, window. You can just add like motion blur and that's like, true. That's really true. Or I can be like, ah, it's going crazy. But it's not, it's not crazy at all. So we're going to the movies. We're gonna go watch straight something something Compton. No, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. That's what we're gonna go watch because that's what hubby wanted to go watch. And we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go watch it at Chandler Mall. And now we're gonna have lots of fun and I'll talk to you guys soon. Is that how you do it? Isn't that like a thing? No? Sure, if you want it to be a thing. It's so, the red button, Grace. I know, but I look so pasty. I'm so pasty. I'm trying to get good. Well, the freaks come out at night, so. Um, We just saw Straight out of Compton. Why can't you just say it? <sighs> straight out the movie. I told you it was going to be good. You don't believe me. I know. It actually was really, really good. I almost cried in some parts. I'm not going to give anything away to you guys, so don't worry. But I really liked it. Gosh, it's, there's like no lighting. Now I'm like red and then like I'm not red. Yeah, why do you try to do that in the car? I don't know. See, now I'm blue. I'm blue. Anyway, so yes, we're going home now. And I need to edit this video and then go to sleepy time because so excited, and I know Tommy's excited. Look, we're here at Chandler Mall. Actually, we're leaving Chandler Mall. This is going to conclude the video, because I have stuff to do. All right, talk to you guys soon. Mwah.